Hello, in this video I'll be talking about breast cysts versus breast cancer. Before I go on, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our channel. We're always putting out new content, often based on suggestions or comments or questions that you've made. I'd also love to invite you to go to yerba.com to get your personalized report. Diagnosed with breast cancer? Meet Yerba, your guide to personalized treatment options. Each option is specifically tailored to the unique characteristics of your tumor. Sign up today at yerba.com to take control of your breast cancer journey. So what is a breast cyst? How do we tell if it's a cyst versus a tumor? And what should you do if you have noticed a mass in your breast? We do have another video on symptoms of breast cancer, and we also have a video that answers the question, are all breast lumps cancer? So what's the definition of a cyst? A cyst is a fluid-filled sac. A true cyst has an epithelial lining, so there's actually a lining around the cyst. It's not just a collection of fluid. It actually sits within a particular um, structure. So it's actually a structure, not sort of a cavity that fills up with fluid. A cyst can ebb and flow during one's menstrual cycle. So a cyst can get bigger as somebody's about to get their menstrual period and then disappear or get smaller after one's period ends. Or we can see cysts in people who are not having regular menses. A cyst can be painful to the touch and this pain or discomfort can also fluctuate during one's periods. A cyst tends to be very mobile, meaning movable. If you take your fingers and you can move it around, it's not stuck in place. It tends to be round, fluid, and even the epithelial lining of the cyst like to be really round. It doesn't have irregular edges. What's a tumor? A tumor it usually refers to a solid mass. It can have cancer in it, or it may be benign, like a fibroadenoma. There are other types of tumors as well that I'm not going to go into detail. They tend to be quite rare. But if you're watching this video, it may be because you've been told you have a cyst. How do we know for sure? Well, the one test that's very useful to tell the difference between a cyst and a solid mass is an ultrasound. Ultrasounds are not good for screening for breast cancer. It's really hard to cover every single plane of the breast, but an ultrasound can show that something's fluid-filled versus solid, and that can be really useful. In somebody who's very young, who has a mass that's ebbing and flowing with the menses, that's tender, in which there may be more than one cyst that's fluid-filled on ultrasound, no further workup needs to be done. In somebody where the cyst looks like it's, it's complex, there are solid parts and fluid parts, that cyst should be biopsied, and that can be done with a fine needle aspirate or with a core biopsy. A fine needle aspirate is just a tiny needle that goes in and can take some cells, both the solid area and the fluid. A fine needle aspirate can be really useful in draining a simple cyst. If a simple cyst disappears once the needle is in and the fluid withdrawn, no further workup needs to be done. If somebody is older and has a cyst that is complex or has a mass that's um, solid, a biopsy needs to be done, especially if there's one particular mass. We can't tell just on exam if something is a cyst. I can't examine you and say this is a cyst. I can say it feels like a cyst, but without imaging, without an ultrasound, without an aspirate, or both, we can't actually tell you. So if you've been told that what's in your breast is a cyst without an ultrasound or a biopsy or a fine needle aspirate, it's reasonable to ask more questions to be certain. A lot of people don't expect to see breast cancer in young people. And we've covered in our video that breast cancer, like almost every cancer, is becoming more common in younger people. So asking additional questions, asking for an ultrasound, can be really helpful in advocating for yourself. In an older person, a cyst is much less common. So in people 
over the age of 60, we don't really see cysts very often at all. And so if you're older and somebody says this feels like a cyst, additional workup is necessary. I hope this has been helpful. Put a comment or question below. Let us know what's on your mind, what's your experience. Thank you as always for watching and we'll see you next time.